the predator is revealed. A plastic coyote without any legs. It seems like an encouraging result. The prairie dogs are certainly being vocal. What's really wonderful about this is that other individuals are chiming in just in response to the vocalization. So they don't even have to see the stimulus in order to know that this is a coyote, and they start yelling. Every call recorded must subsequently be analyzed by Con. We can hear the difference in the calls between the different predators, but that's not really enough for us. What we really need is some sort of analytical tools for measuring what the frequency and time elements in the call are. And so this software here allows us to do this. This is an alarm call elicited for a coyote, and we can hear that it has a series of rhythmic chirps let me stop it at this point. We think that each prairie dog has its own individual, unique tonal qualities, just like humans have different voices and different voice prints. But even though each individual prairie dog might differ, all the prairie dogs have a common call for a coyote, even within those individual voice print differences. So we think that when a prairie dog is calling for a coyote, they probably know who the individual prairie dog is that's calling, just the same way that we can on the telephone hear somebody's voice and immediately recognize it as a person that we know. 